when you look at as a team, you got to take the, the, what the defense gives you, and they're giving you those three. So I know why you shot them. But having said that, did you shoot too many as a team? Yeah. So how do you avoid that if uh, they're giving them to you? No, I mean some of them there, you know, were good shots to take. I think most of them would. You? Um, yeah. eh, not most of them. You know, I think. Well, you know, out of, out of 31, I'd say most of them were. 25, probably, yeah. I would say. About right? 22. Okay. I mean, I mean 22. Uh, but, but you know what I'm getting at here. I mean, you yeah. take what the defense gives you. They're giving it to you. So how do you reconcile the two? Well, I, I think, I don't think you, any, you have a problem with anybody on our team that's capable of shooting threes, shooting threes when it comes from offensive execution. If it just comes off of a, a guy has the ball and he just shoots it, there wasn't any real, you know, design. There wasn't any movement. Doesn't allow Andrew or Powell or Lamar to get to the offensive board. Those are the ones we have to stay away from. Uh, and even some of the ones that are good shots to take, because this team runs out so well in transition, you might have to pass up on one that you normally take. And that and that's the tough part. You know, when when you're out there competing and just you want to help, you want to do everything you can to help the team. You have a shot that you can make. But sometimes you got to pass up on that because you're playing against a team that thrives in the open court. So maybe you pass up on that, penetrate in, Collins is going to come take a charge and drop it off to one of your big guys and let them get a dunk. And then now they got to take the ball out of the net, you know, after getting dunked on as opposed to a long rebound off of a three-point shot.